Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. Now the TCS exam is going on. Today is the 24th of October, okay, 2020. And the slot one which is there, like it started at 8 a.m. The slot one is over and questions have come out regarding the of the slot one. Okay, so let's take a look at the analysis of the slot one. Okay, uh, we are in this video, we are also going to solve a few questions of slot one. Okay, so for, before going on to the questions, okay, and the solutions, what we are going to do is we are going to see regarding a few questions which are unanswered and because of which some of them are in a state of dilemma. Okay, uh, first of all, what we'll do is check out regarding na uh, regarding navigations in sections like you cannot move like if the first section is quant, then say it is verbal and then reasoning. You cannot move from quant to, uh, you cannot attempt verbal first and then quant or reasoning first, then verbal, then quant. No, whatever is the sequence, you have to go that way only. So if quant section is first, you'll have to move in for the quant questions first. Also, question navigation is not allowed. Like whatever question is on the screen, you have to attempt it as it is. You cannot switch to next question and then come back over here. Once you click submit for that question, okay, save and next for that question, you cannot come back and revisit or change the answer or even attempt the question again. Once you attempt it, it's over, it is final. So bear, make sure that you give enough time, okay, to think about the question and think whether you want to go ahead or not because you cannot come back, okay. So this navigation, they have made it difficult, okay, you cannot navigation uh, navigate across the sections. You have to attempt whatever is there. Now quant section, let us say that if it is for 40 minutes, Okay, and if you finish the quant section in 35 minutes, you will have to wait for 5 minutes. You will have to wait for 5 minutes till the entire 40 minutes is over and then everyone's section will move on to verbal or whatever it is. Okay, whichever section is there. So you will move to the next section only when the entire time is finished. Even if you finish the paper or even if you finish the section uh, earlier. Okay, you will have to wait for the rest of the time. Fine. This is regarding navigations of the sections. Now these instructions regarding these were also given in the sample test. So this is nothing new negative marking is not there okay so this one question gets answered over here next in the 8 a.m slot many of the students were facing survey issues like they were able to log in at 8 okay some of them were not even able to log in okay and by 8 30 or 9 o'clock or something like that the server was down the server was not, i think so they, it was not able to handle the number of people okay uh, so tcs ion uh, now there a test was conducted either at home or in the TCS ion center. So most of the papers in TCS ion center were going smoothly, but students who were at home, they were facing a lot of issues. Even at TCS ion center, there were some issues. Okay, server used to be down, but the rate at home was more. Okay, a rate of uh, failing of the server or the test creating a problem was more over here. So you didn't, you don't have to panic in such a case. What happens is uh, there's a TCS live chat. Okay. You can try to send in a message to them. Okay. You can let them know about your issue. They'll try to resolve it. Okay. If you have wasted a lot of time because of this server issue or anything uh, from the link not working, you're not able to logging in and everything. Okay. They'll try to find a solution for it. They'll give you a solution for it. So you don't have to worry. If you are having a problem, you can drop them an email. Okay. Now, many of them are saying that it will be rescheduled. Another attempt would be provided for the ATM slot people. Okay. So now first understand that this is TCS ion center. Okay. TCS ion. They have been conducting the exam for many years. Okay. So they have an expertise even. They used to conduct also the bank exams. Okay. So banking exams. So they have an experience of uh, taking in uh, the exams of lot of candidates. So even if there is an error, they will definitely be able to sort it out by tomorrow. Okay. Or even in the next slot. Fine. So even if they are able to sort it out by tomorrow, that is the 25th of October. So you don't have to worry. Whatever is the error, definitely they'll going to take care of it. If there is an, a problem from their side, they are going to give you another chance of giving the exam. They won't let it happen that you are not able to give the exam. Okay, so you don't have to worry. This would be taken care by TCS people themselves. They are capable enough. Fine. Next is repetition of questions. It means that the questions which are there in slot one, everyone got the same questions. So whatever questions I got for quant, logical, verbal, everything, each person from my slot is going to get the same question. Okay. So slot two questions are going to be the same for all the students within slot two. Okay. There is a chance that slot one questions will not be repeated in slot two. But let's see the verdict. We'll wait for the slot two questions to come out entirely. Okay. We have a few of them. 
why uh, right uh, but we'll wait entirely for the questions to come out okay and we'll cross check whether they are uh, telling the truth or not whatever the sources are there so slot 1 and slot 2 which is there fine so we'll uh, slot 1 we have confirmed okay that these all things are there from two uh, many of the sources okay close to talent battle uh, slot 2 yet confirmation is going on most of the time it will happen that there is a chance it might not get repeated okay questions but we'll give you a final verdict once all the questions of slot 2 get confirmed Next is it is not an adaptive test. Okay, now many people might be saying that it was an adaptive test. Even if it was an adaptive test, it would not have uh, worked in your. It would have worked in your favor only. It would not have worked against you. So you don't have to worry regarding adaptive test. But like since it is not an adaptive test because everyone is getting the same question, so it cannot be an adaptive test. Okay, calculator was given in the sample test. Yeah, you could have seen. Okay, the new sample test calculator was there make the maximum use of the calculator okay it is going to save a lot of time make the maximum use of calculator now comes the big question regarding pen paper rough work etc you, you were allowed to take the pen and paper you can do the rough work on paper okay rough work was allowed those who are giving the exam in home it was only expected that it should be visible that you are doing work uh, rough work and you are not trying to cheat like using your cell phone or something like that so like we had already said there is not a possibility that continuously you, you cannot keep your eyes down or something like that. This is not possible. Okay. Humanly also, it is not possible continuously to look at the screen for like round about three hours. Even right now, I'm talking to you like it has been five minutes and I must have looked down at least twice. So it is humanly not possible to look at the screen for so much time. And also, it is not possible to do the rough work on the rough pad or rough page what or rough pad which is given on screen okay on tcs rough screen whatever is this given notepad so a rough paper and pen is required or a pencil whatever it is so like we i was always stressing in the live sessions that do not believe on this only believe on the actual thing that tcs tells you okay even if someone says it is adaptive test you can't look down you have to look at the screen only it is going uh, and you you can't use a rough work uh, rough paper and pen okay do not believe on such things fine so this has been cleared out fine so now what we are going to do these are the common uh, uh, i mean common questions over there whatever questions if you feel are there you can uh, put in you can let us know we'll try to answer them get the credible answers to for those questions okay now let's move on to the first section of numerical ability now the questions which were asked in numerical ability belong to uh, the important topics no abstract topic as such was there for example speed distance time was there time and work question was there percentage was there profit and loss was there okay i think so round over two questions were there and profit and loss then there were linear equations fine then there was data interpretation now data interpretation some of the students might put it into numerical ability or reasoning ability it doesn't matter but data interpretation was there then again another favorite topic simple interest compound interest was there two questions on it were there okay apart from that ratio proportion you can find out over there okay number system was there these are the few topics that were definitely there okay or number systems okay questions on these then there was mensuration now what do you mean by mensuration it is like the area volume part which is there okay that geometry section which is there it was there and as usual the new topic elementary statistics okay round about three questions statistics might be more than that but minimum three questions were there in elementary statistics okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to check out not all but a few questions of numerical ability to give you an idea what kind of difficulty level was there okay and we'll see the questions and how to solve them let's the first question is what is the sum in rupees which when divided among x y z in the proportion 3 to 5 to 7 provides rupees 8000 more to z than what it would have done to him when the proportion is 11 is to 15 is to 19 okay now there are two ways to solve the questions one of the easiest ways is to use the options okay and there's a long cut way also the time required for both of them is almost same not that difficult okay almost same but let us see first the long cut then i'll move on to the shortcut now money is distributed let the total amount of sum okay that sum be x rupees fine now this x rupees is distributed in two ways either in 3 is to 5 is to 7 way okay and the other way is 11 is to 15 is to 19 out of that x y and z what is the share of z 7 upon 3 plus 5 plus 7 into what is the total money x rupees so what do you get over here is 7x upon 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 3 is 15 
these uh, this is the share of z in rupees same way if the money is distributed this x rupees if it is distributed in this ratio 11 is to 15 is to 19 this is x y and z what will be share of z 19 upon 11 plus 15 plus 19 multiplied by x rupees so that comes out to be 19 x upon 15 uh, this is 26 uh, 46 minus 1 45 19 x upon 45 so now what happens is the equation will be like this 7 x upon 15 if the money is distributed in this ratio z is going to get 8000 more so subtract 8000 from it as compared to if the money is distributed in this ratio 11 is to 15 is to 9 so that would be equal to 19x upon 45. So amount of money which Z gets when the distribution is this 11 is to 15 is to 9. Okay. It will be 8000 less. Okay. When the distribution is this 3 is to 5 is to 7. That means the share is this 7x upon 15. This share is 8000 more than this share. So 7x upon 15 minus 8000 comes out to be 19x upon 45. Multiply by 15 throughout what you get is 7x minus 120 and 3 zeros would be equal to 19x upon 3 okay now multiply by 3 throughout you get 21x minus 36 and 4 zeros that would be equal to 19x 21x minus 19x comes out to be 2x that is equal to 36 and 4 zeros x comes out to be 18 and 4 zeros okay answer is option a very quickly you can get the answer okay whatever the time given is for the question you can solve it within that time now let us try to see what can be the answer through options okay very easy there are two ways this amount x which is there this sum is divided into two ways okay uh, i'll write over here 3 is to 5 is to 7 and the other way it is divided is 11 is to 15 is to 19 what is 3 plus 5 plus 7 8 plus 7 is 15 total 11 plus 15 plus 19 is 45 total okay out of these numbers okay let us check out which is divisible by 45 and 15 both first i'll check for 45 180 is definitely divisible by 45 because 90 is divisible by 45. So 180 is going to be divisible. 135 is like 45 into 3 is 135. 120 and 175 are not divisible by 45. Cancel those options out. Now, one if it is divisible by 45, it is definitely divisible by 15 because 15 into 3 is 45. Okay. So now over here, 1 lakh 80,000 might be the answer or 1 lakh 35,000 might be the answer. Now 1 lakh 80,000 and 1 lakh 35,000, which one should be the answer? Very easy. Consider 1 lakh 80,000 as the answer. In the first case, what is the share of Z? 7. So share of Z will be 7 upon 15 into 1 lakh 80,000. Okay. So what you are going to get over here is 15 ones are 32 are 12,000. That comes out to be 84,000 rupees. Next. What happens is uh, in this case, what is the share of Z? It is 19. Okay. So one share is 84,000, next share is 19. So that comes out to be 19 upon 45 into 1 lakh 80,000. Okay, so 45 into 4 into 4,000, 19 fours are 19 twos are 38, 38 into 2 comes out to be 60 and 8 plus 8 is uh, 16, that comes out to be 76,000. The difference between 2 is 8,000. So answer is option A. Okay, even this is a shortcut way, not that you might uh, save precious 10 to 20 seconds over here, which you can use later on somewhere. A file of cadets consisting of 10 rows and 5 columns measures 420 meter in length along the direction of their marching. How much time in hours and minutes would it take to march for a stretch of 3 kilometers if the stride of each cadet is 80 centimeter and he takes 57 strides? per minute okay now over here forget regarding file of cadets okay or line of cadets it is a simple sum of uh, sum of trains okay where the length of the train is given as 420 meters also what they are asking how much time would it take to march for a stretch of 3 kilometers that means the distance covered has to be 3 kilometers now in case of trains we already know that distance covered will also include the length of the train so here it will be plus 420 meters that is 3.42 kilometers because 420 meters is 0.42 kilometers. So 3.42 kilometers is the distance covered and we have to find out the time taken to cover this distance. Now what they have given is a stride length of the stride of each cadet is 80 centimeter. Okay. And he takes 57 strides per minute, 57 strides per minute. So what is the distance covered per minute? 80 centimeter into 57 strides, these many centimeters per minute. Okay. So now per hour, how much is the distance covered? 80 into 57 centimeters into 
60 minutes. Okay, these many centimeters per hour. Let's convert it into kilometers. What you are going to get over here is 80 into 57 into 60 divided by 100 is going to be conversion to meters and divided by 1000 is going to be conversion to kilometers. These many kilometers per hour. So this gets cancelled out over here. Fine. And on multiplication, you are going to and division by 1000, you are going to get 2.736 kilometers per hour. So very easy, no need of using speed distance time formula. In one hour, 2.736 kilometers is covered. To cover 3.42 kilometers, how much time is required? Just cross multiply. On cross multiplying, you are going to get 3.42 divided by 2.736. Answer comes out to be 1.25. Now you will say, how did you very quickly get the answer? Use the calculator given by TCS. Okay, it is not for decoration. Try to use for easy uh, for these calculations. Very quickly you get the answer. 1.25 means what? 1 hour plus 0.25 hours. 0.25 hours comes out to be 15 minutes. So answer is option D. What is the mean deviation of the data 8, 9, this whatever is given, okay. Solving, finding mean deviation is absolutely easy and very quick, okay. The sequence is find the mean of all the values, okay. That means find the mean value. Then find the deviation from the mean value, okay. And then find the mean deviation, okay. Very easy. Let's find the mean value of all the values. So what we are going to do is, we are going to add all the values and divide by total number of values. So 12 plus 8 comes out to be 20. 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 30 is 70, 70 plus uh, 24 and 16 comes out to be 40, 70 plus 40 is 110, 130, 160, 166, okay, 166 and this is going to be 10, 176, 181, 190, okay, there is an error something over here, let me check out, let's check the addition again, okay, 8 plus 12 is 20, 20, uh, 8 and 12 is 20, 20 and 20 is 40, 40 and 30 is 70, okay, 70 and 20 is 94, 94 and 6, 100, 110, 110 and this is going to be what, uh, 66, 110 and 6, 176, 176 and 15 comes out to be 181, 191 and 9, it is 200, addition is 200 divided by how many values are there, 3, 3, 3, 1, 10. So mean comes out to be 20. So mean value is 20. Now as compared to 20, we have to check out the mean deviation of all the values. Like uh, what I'll do is I'll erase these uh, whatever markings that I've done. So it becomes easier for uh, calculating the mean deviation. Fine. So now our 8 differs from 20 by 12. Okay. So that is 8 minus 20 is minus 12. We have to ignore the minus sign. 9 minus 20. Again, next 9 minus 20 is 11. 12 minus 20 is 8, 15 minus 20 is 5, 16 minus 20 is 4, 20 minus 20 is 0, then 24 minus 20 is 4, 30 minus 20 is 10, 32 minus 20 is 12, 34 minus 20 is 14, okay. This comes out to be the deviations, okay, of all the values. Now we have to find mean deviation, that means the deviation of all these values. Very easy, very quickly we'll find out. 12 and 8 is 20, 20 and 10 is 30. 42, 42 and 8 is 50, 50 and 11 is 61, 66, 70, 80. 80 divided by 10 values are there. So that comes out to be 8. Mean deviation comes out to be 8. Option B. A man has to travel 50 kilometers in 2 hours. He could cover 20 kilometers in 1 hour and then had to stop for 10 minutes for refueling. By what factor should he increase his speed? with reference to that during the first hour so as to able to complete the journey as per the schedule. Very easy. Find the speed in the first hour. Find the speed in the second hour. Okay. Whatever the time taken to cover. Okay. And then we are going to get the answer easily. First thing. In the first hour, he covered 20 kilometers. So speed in the first hour is 20 kilometers per hour. Next. He stopped 10 minutes for refueling. So now he wants to cover 50 kilometers in 2 hours. 1 hour is over. 20 kilometers is covered. He only has 50 minutes. Okay. That means that that is equal to 50 upon 60 hours. Like converting minutes to hours. Why only 50 minutes? Because 10 minutes he used for refueling. In these 50 by 60 hours, he has to cover remaining 30 kilometers. So what should be his speed? Speed will be distance covered upon time taken. That is 50 upon 
60. This gets cancelled out. So what do you get is 30 into 6 divided by 5. Okay, this is the speed. This is S2, right? So what do we have is 20 upon 30 into 6 divided by 5. 5, 6 are. So what we are going to have is 20 upon 36 that comes out to be 4 5s are and 4 9s are. Now this is the ratio of the speed S1 upon S2 but what we want is by what factor should he increase his speed okay than the previous speed than the first R. So for that speed 1 has to a uh, speed S1 has to be made 1. How can we make it 1? Just divide by 5 okay throughout what this 5 I have to make 1. How can I make it 1? I have to divide by 5 in the numerator and denominator then I can make it 1. So 5 divided by 5 will be 9 divided by 5 that comes out to be 1 upon 1.8. So he has to increase the speed by the factor 1.8. Answer is option B. A diameter of a pizza is 30 centimeter. What is the area of the upper surface of a sector of the pizza whose arc length is 8 centimeter? Pay attention, this is the pizza, a circular pizza, okay? Now, the diameter of the pizza is 30 centimeters, fine? Now, what they are saying is that the arc length is 8 centimeters. And what is the area of the upper surface of the sector? If this is the center of the circle, this is the sector of whose area they want. Now, there is a direct formula for this or you can use common sense or logic to solve the question. Let us see what the common sense is. Circumference of the circle, okay? circumference of the circle. What is the circumference? From this point if you try to see if you trace this circle entirely. Circumference of the circle covers the entire area of the circle. Correct? Fine. This entire circumference of the circle is going to cover the entire area of the circle. Then the arc length which is there it is going to cover how much area? The arc length is from this point to this point. Only this much. Then arc length is going to cover only the area of the sector. Correct? Circumference covers the entire circle. That means it is covering the entire area of the circle. The arc length which is there, this arc length 8 cm, it covers only this sector. Fine? So, arc length will cover only the area of the sector. You just cross multiply and you are going to get the answer very quickly. This is the area of sector. Okay? Will be equal to area of the circle. Okay? I will write over here in short. Into the arc length which is there divided by the circumference fine so let us see what the area uh, this is circumference now let us see what is the area of the circle it is pi r square into arc length is 8 centimeter uh, circumference is 2 pi r this gets cancelled pi pi gets cancelled 2 4 z r what is the radius radius is diameter is 30 centimeter diameter is 30 radius is going to be 30 by 2 that is 15 centimeters so the area of sector is 15 into 4 that is 60 so, answer is option D. Only 60 is the answer. X is 4 times as efficient as Y in respect of doing a particular job. Working together, they complete the work in 16 days. In how many days? Y working alone will be able to do half the work. Very easy question. Okay. X is 4 times as efficient as Y. That means Y is 4 times slow. Okay. If Y is 4 times slow, that means Y is going to take 4 times more time. So, let x take x days to complete the entire work alone. y is going to take how much? 4x days to uh, complete the entire work alone. Just invert it, you will get 1 by x. Just invert it, you are going to get 1 by 4x. These are the one day works of x and y. Okay. Now, in a single day, how much work is done by x and y? x plus y together if they are working. How much is the amount of work done by them? x is going to complete 1 by x amount of work, y is going to complete 1 by 4x amount of work. That is going to be how much? LCM is 4x. So, 4 plus 1, that comes out to be 5 upon 4x amount of work. This is the one day work of x, of x and y together. That means x plus y. One day work of x plus y. But we already know that x and y together complete the entire work in 16 days. So, if you invert this, you are going to get 1 by 16, which is going to be the one day work of x and y together. So, this that means that 5 upon 4x must be equal to 1 by 16. So, 4 into 4 is 16. So, x comes out to be 20 days. So, x takes 20 days to complete the entire work. y is going to take 4x days. That comes out to be 4 into 20. That is 80 days to complete the entire work. Okay. 
So why takes 80 days to complete the entire work? Pay attention over here. Entire work. But we want how much days y takes to complete half the work. Entire work in 80 days. Half the work will be in half. That is 40 days. So answer is option C. The collection of numbers which comprise the data given below is arranged in ascending order. Okay, these numbers are given in arranging uh, ascending order. If the median of the data is 12.5, what is the value of n? Median is given. Total number of values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So n is equal to 8 which is even. Okay, uh, so here n and n will be confusing. So I'll write small n over here. Okay, n is equal to 8 which is even. So what is the median of even number of values or even number of data? Take the n by 2th value and n by 2 plus 1th value. Find the mean of these two values. Okay, that is the average of these two values. So if n is 8, what you are going to take? 8 by 2, that means a fourth value you have to take. And 4 plus 1, that is fifth value you have to take. The middle two values. And you have to find the mean or the average of these two values. That is going to be the median. So see, I'll write over here. 3, 7, 9. Then it is n minus 1. Then it is 15, 18, 19 and 20. So 1, 2, 3. Fourth value is this. Fifth value is this. These two are the middle two values. Find the mean that is the average of these two values. What is the average of these two values? n minus 1 plus 15 divided by 2. That is going to give us the median. But already median is given as 12.5. So that comes out to be 12.5. So what you get is n minus 1 plus 15 is going to be 25. n minus 1 comes out to be 10. n comes out to be 11. Okay. Answer is option C. After purchasing two copies of the same book, X sold them respectively at 0.8 and 1.4 times their cost prices. What was the percentage gain earned or loss incurred by X? Very easy question. Two copies of the same book. That means the cost price will be same for both the books. Correct? For both the copies. Let the cost price be rupees 100. Now one book was sold at 0.8 times the cost price. So selling price of the first book will be 0.8 into 100 that comes out to be 80 rupees. So we can see there is a 20 rupees loss over here. Okay. Selling price of the second book will be 1.4 times the cost price. That is 140 rupees. So you can see here there is a 40 rupees profit. So total if you check out 20 rupees loss, 40 rupees profit. That means 40 minus 20, 20 rupees profit is there at the end. Okay. Total profit is 20 rupees. When you sell two books, these two books which are sold, total profit and the end including the loss and the profit is 20 rupees profit. So what is the profit percentage? 20 rupees profit is earned on two books. Cost price of both the books is 100 and 100 that is 200 rupees. Okay. Into 100. So 100, 2 and 10, 10% 10 is the percentage profit. So answer is option C, 10% gain. Okay. Percent profit comes out to be 10. An item was sold at a profit of 12% after giving a discount of 12.5% on the list price. What would be the gain or loss percentage if a discount of 25% is given on the list price? Over here, very easy question and calculator is going to be of immense help because it is going to help you solve the question in hardly 50 seconds. Let us see. Let the list price be rupees 100. Okay. If the list price is 100, initial discount is 12.5%. So now the value is going to be 100 rupees minus 12.5% is minus 12.5. That comes out to be this becomes the selling price 87.5 rupees. Okay. Now profit is 12%. So already we know selling price is uh, 1.12 into CP. That is 1.1 CP. 12% profit. So selling price will be 1.12 times the cost price. So 87.5 is going to be 1.12 times the cost price. So the cost price is going to be 8750 divided by 112. So what I would suggest personally is you can keep it like this. Either you can keep it like this or you might if you want you can change it slightly. Okay. Uh, but I would suggest keep it like this only. Okay. Now this is the cost price. Now let us come to the other scenario where the discount is 25%. If the discount is 25% price is going to be 75 rupees. On solving this actually uh, don't keep it like this. It would be better because since calculator is there it is better. You are going to get the value of this as 78 point something. Okay. 
so this is going to come out to be let us see uh, what the value exactly is going to come out even i'll use a calculator now since you have been uh, allowed to use a calculator so it comes out to be 78.125 rupees okay now here this becomes the new selling price because of 25 percent discount cost price is more than selling price that means there is definitely loss this gets cancelled out only two options are there how much is the loss 78.125 rupees minus 75 rupees that comes out to be 3.125 rupees and how much is the loss percentage loss divided by the cost price into 100 okay uh, so cost price is 78.125 made a mistake over here it is the selling price 75 is selling price okay now you will think that this is really difficult but it is not because you have a calculator with you so what you are going to have is 3.125 divided by 78.125 and then you are going to multiply it with 100 and you are going to get the answer as 4 percent uh, so there is a 4 percent loss so this gets cancelled out answer is option c use the calculator you are going to get the answer in 50 seconds another way important way is to consider the list price as 100 and solve why did i consider list price as 100 because everything is given in percentage and final answer is also in percentage so when you can assume any value assuming 100 will give you the answer directly in percentage fine let's move on to the next one the mean of a set of data is 5 mean means average okay that means average of some data is 5 average is equal to 5 what will be the mean if 10 is subtracted from each data very easy in 10 actually in 5 seconds you should mark the answer average is 5 10 is subtracted from every data that means average will also reduce by 5 uh, reduce by 10 average comes out to be minus 5 answer is option a mean of a set of average is 5 and if what will be the average if 10 is subtracted from each data that means from each value individual value 10 is subtracted then the average will also reduce by 10 so 5 minus 10 minus 5 is going to be the new average answer is option a If x plus 10 percent of 240 is 60 percent more than x percent of 180, then 15 percent of x plus 20 is what percent less than 25 percent of x? This looks confusing, but absolutely easy question. Just trace the question. If x plus 10 percent, percentage means divide by 100, of means multiplication, of 240 is means is equal to 60 percent more, that is 1.6 into 60 percent more, like for example. 160 is 60% more than 100 that is 160 is equal to 1.6 into 100 60% more means 1.6 into x percent of 180 x upon 100 into 180 this gets cancelled out so what we have is 60 into 4 60 into 3 4 into point, uh, 0.4 so what you have is x plus 10 will be equal to 1.2 x so 0 0.2 x comes out to be 10 x comes out to be 50 okay then 15 percent then 15 percent of x plus 20 x plus 20 is 50 plus 20 will be equal to 70 and what is 15 percent of 70 very easy 10 percent is 7 5 percent is 3.5 that comes out to be 10.5 15 percent of 70 is 10.5 is what percentage less than 25 percent of x let's start this is x so 25 percent of x means one fourth of x that is 1 by 4 of 50 that comes out to be 12.5 so 12.5 okay 10.5 is how much less than 12.5 so let us see what we have is 2 point uh, it is less than 2 okay it is uh, less by 2 so 2 as compared to what 12.5 into 100 so this comes out to be 8 is our answer comes out to be 16 option c is the answer 2 into 8 is 16 percent less is what percent less less is 2 less by 2 okay and since we have to convert it into percentage i multiplied by 100 and as compared to what as compared to 25 percent of x that is 12.5 so that comes in denominator so 2 upon 12.5 into 100 comes out to be 16 percent is the answer now let's come to the reasoning ability uh, section now in reasoning ability a lot of variety was there like there was data arrangement was there then uh uh, unboxing a cube or what we can say a cube is given like a part of cube is given okay it has been uh, sort of opened up and you have to arrange it to form a cube so what kind of cube it will form that kind of questions were there there was coding decoding 
then there was Venn diagram that is syllogism okay then there was blood relations all the regular topics which was there visual reasoning then statement and assumptions okay all these things were there now let us see or uh, check out a few questions about reasoning ability in a certain code a percentage b means a is the brother of b and a and b means a is the mother of b a at the rate b means a is the daughter of b a dollar b means a is the father of b a hash b means a is the sister of b if this is given how is t related to you so now how to solve this question okay how is t related to you so we have to draw the diagram according to this k dollar z first we'll trace that k dollar z what is the meaning of dollar over here k is the father of z so k is the father that is a uh, father of z fine uh, z so k is a male over here next z percentage u percentage sign means brother z is brother of u siblings are denoted by these two arrows u u and h and symbol means mother u is the mother of h u is mother that means female of h now h hash n hash means what sister hash is sister a is sister so hash is sister h is sister that is female h is sister of n and at the rate symbol means what daughter n is what is this a daughter b a at the rate b means a is daughter of b so n is daughter that means female n is daughter of t so these both are sisters that means t must be the husband of u okay male so what is the how t and u are related so they are like wife uh, how is t related to u t is the husband of u please pay attention it is not wife okay it is t is the husband of u fine so over here what might happen is that you might feel that t is the husband or uh, t is the wife but that is not the case please uh, pay attention it is husband okay let's move on to the next one four friends a b c and d have one of the four professions that is doctor architect engineer and lawyer okay each friend belongs to one of the four different cities so a is there b is there c is there d is there so we might need to make a table each of them belongs to four cities chandigarh indore lucknow pune a is not lawyer or engineer fine so a is uh, not lawyer or engineer so a can be doctor or an architect doctor or an architect fine and the doctor is from lucknow d is an architect if d is an architect a has to be a doctor and doctor is from lucknow so a is from lucknow okay next uh, doctor is from lucknow mark okay a is not engineer lawyer fine d is an architect lawyer is from pune so lawyer can be b or c okay engineer is neither from chandigarh nor pune so engineer is neither from chandigarh nor pune fine d is not from pune if d is not from pune pune can come over here fine so next is c is from indore i'll write over here indore d is not from pune so pune is going to come over here engineer is neither from chandigarh nor pune that means who is remaining lawyer is from pune so okay which of the following statement is correct about b c is from indore uh, b is the lawyer and belongs to chandigarh no b is doctor no b is lawyer and belongs to pune yes option d we didn't even have to fill this and this okay we directly got the answer halfway through so answer is d the number of employees working in six different departments in two companies a and b are given below study the given data and answer the question so company a the departments are over here okay and then what we have over here is uh, the data given okay do not focus too much on what is given over here let's see what the question is what is the percentage difference between the employees working in the production department of company a and b production department of company a okay 504 employees what is the percentage of employees in a production department production department of a percentage of employees is 504 employees out of the total 1202 how did i get it it is given over here into 100 okay that comes out to be around 43 points uh, 41 point something percentage okay 41 point something percent in company b the production which is there that comes out to be production has 736 employees okay 736 divided by 1694 is the total employees into 100 that comes out to be 43 point something percentage 
let's see uh, what is the exact value of the percentage over here it comes out to be even i'll use a calculator you have a calculator over here so don't forget to use it 1202 so 41.93 it comes out to be over here and over here it is 736 divided by 1694 43.44 percent okay now when you subtract this you are going to get the answer as option c okay that is 0 1.52 uh, percent okay so answer is option c if both company a and b merge together to form company c then what is the percentage of marketing and accounting employees in total employees of company c now marketing plus accounting of both companies a and b you have to add okay so let us first see what is uh, what i'll do is i'll first add marketing and accounting of a then i'll add to it marketing and accounting of b let's see the values marketing is 256 and accounting is 68 so for a it is going to be 256 plus 68 and you have to add what values over there marketing for b is 524 accounting 122 524 plus 122 so what i get over here is 522 plus 124 so divided by total uh, total employees in company c that is 1202 plus 1694 from where did i get the values both companies merged so total employees are going to get merged over here and we have to find out what percentage so into 100 so let us find out 256 plus 68 i'll be using the calculator okay just like you would be doing in the exam okay 970 divided by so 2 plus 4 is 6 and i have 9 over here 6 plus 2 is 8 2 8 9 6 into 100 uh, i'll multiply and then i'll divide by 2 8 9 6 that gives out to be 33.49 percent answer is option a okay answer is option a over here 39.49 percent A statement is followed by two assumptions numbered 1 and 2. Consider the statement and decide which of the given assumptions is are implicit in the statement. Statement. Various government across the world have issued strict guidelines for the public to wear masks and wash hands regularly to safeguard their health during COVID-19 pandemic. Assumptions. COVID-19 pandemic is a serious health issue. Yes, we can say that is the reason there was a strict guideline across the world. Okay. This uh, follows. There are ways by which people can save themselves from COVID-19 pandemic yes that is there that is the reason and it has been issued so both of them are implicit option b is the answer what is wrong number in the following series or rather it is what is wrong with the following series okay let's check out cmq the first thing that you'll do is you'll just check out the first alphabets okay so check out over here c d and e are missing and f is there g h i is missing two missing three missing okay then j is there then k l m n four of them are missing and o is there so now your five must be missing p q r s t and then u is there yes this is sort of the relation over here let's check out the second one okay m two must be missing n o and then we have p okay this one over here again three must be missing q r s okay so t must come over here yes it is there then u v w x then y must come okay which is there then z a b c d okay and then e must come but it is f over here so u f i is the wrong option option d okay why because after y five things must miss so z is gone a b c four fifth one is also gone d so e must come over here but six of them are missing so f is coming over here so answer is ufi is the wrong part in the series or the wrong term in the series in a certain code k star n means k is the brother of n k plus n means k is the husband of n k into n means k is the mother of n k divided by n means k is the sister of n then which of the following expression means c is the daughter of y so we have to so, uh, draw the diagrams for all of them and uh, then we can get the answer okay we'll start with this y plus r that means y is the husband of r so y is the husband of r that means y is male okay r is female next r into x x me uh, into c r into c into sign means what over here plus into sign means mother r is the mother of c okay so c becomes what a mother of c so we see we don't know whether it is male or female okay we'll keep it as it is 
C is a C star H. That means C is brother. Male, okay. Male, brother of H. Over here, we want C to be daughter. That means C to be female. So this cannot po be possible over here because C is male over here. Next, let's start with this. Y male, okay, is the husband of R who is female. R into H. H is the son, okay, male. X means son, uh, sorry, R is the mother of, sorry, K is the mother of N. So, R is the mother of H. So, R is the mother of H. I don't know what is the gender for H. H divided by C. Divided means sister. H is female, sister of C. I don't know gender of C as of now. C star V. C is the brother. Again, C is coming out to be male. Not possible. Not useful over here. Okay. Only answer can be between these two because C divided means that C is the sister. That means we get the gender of C over here. Okay. In both the cases, what happens is plus sign means what over here? K is the husband. Okay. Uh, answer comes out to be C, but we'll check out the diagram and then we'll decide. Y is male. R is female. Then R is the mother of H. H star C. H is the brother. That means H must be male of C. And C divided by V. Divided by sign means sister. C is the sister. That means female of V. So C must be the daughter of Y. It has been established. Answer is option C. Given below is a question followed by two statements 1 and 2, each one containing information, some information. Decide which of the statements is are sufficient to answer the question. How is A related to C? We want the answer to this question. This is a data sufficiency question. Okay. First statement is A is the wife of B. A is wife. That means female of B who is male. And B is the brother of C. B is the brother of C. B is brother of C. Fine. B is brother of C. But we don't know the gender of C. So how is A related to C? A can be a sister-in-law of C or uh, what we can... Yes, C, A has to be... Uh, how is A related? A is sister-in-law of C. Statement 1 is sufficient. We can get the answer using statement 1. Because even if this is male or female, what we are asked is how is A related to C? That means A will become the sister-in-law of C. C can be male or female, doesn't matter. Fine? Okay. So, one is enough. Let's see the second statement also. C is the son of D. So, now the problem over here is if we check only statement number 2, okay, we will not be able to get the answer because we want relation between A and C and here relation between C and D is given. So, we are, it is absolutely not useful for us. So, only statement uh, 1 alone is sufficient to get the answer. Answer is option A. Four statements are followed by four conclusions. Okay. Which conclusions logically follows or follow from the statements? All vegetables are fruits. So, all the vegetables which are there, they are fruits. No carrot is a fruit. So, this is all the carrots in the world. No, none of the carrot is fruit. Some roots are carrots. So, some of the roots are carrots. All the roots are eatable. So, all the roots are eatable. Fine. Conclusion. First one is what? Some fruits are eatable. So, is it possible some fruits are eatable? Here it is not possible. So, this conclusion not possible. Okay. No root is a vegetable. No root is a vegetable is possible over here. Fine. But if you check out like this. all the This is the alternate Venn diagram. All the vegetables are fruits. Okay. No carrot is a fruit. Some roots are carrots. Roots and carrots. Some of the roots are carrots. Some of the roots can be vegetables. Okay. And fruits. Fine. Some of the roots are carrots. All the roots are eatable. So, all the roots are eatable. Fine. Now, over here, no root is vegetable is not possible over here. So, this is not true. Let's see conclusion number three. Some eatables are carrots. Some of the eatables are carrots. Yes. Some roots are carrots. All the roots are eatables. That means some of the eatables are carrots. So, conclusion three follows. So, 1 does not follow, so this gets cancelled out. 2 also does not follow, so this gets cancelled out. So, only 3 follows, that is there, fine. Let's see the fourth conclusion. Some roots are vegetables. If you check out over here, some of the roots are vegetables, does not follow over here. So, fourth one does not follow, okay. So, answer is option C, only 3 and either 2 or 4 follow, okay. So, this is the correct answer. Don't think too much about it. I'll tell you what this part means. If you check this Venn diagram, this says that, what is the second one? 
no root is vegetable it follows over here but the fourth one some roots are vegetables does not follow okay second one follows fourth does not follow if you check this venn diagram fourth one follows but second one does not follow so only three you got the answer over here okay you can directly mark c as the option only three and either second can follow or the fourth one follow over here third one is following over here also third one is following so along with third one either second can follow or along with third one fourth one can follow so answer is option c now in the verbal ability section uh, if you try to check out the syllabus a uh, lot of things like reading comprehension was asked then there was a closed test then there are fill in the blanks okay we have to fill it with appropriate words it is fill in the blanks is similar to a closed test okay so you don't have to worry much about it then there's sentence completion and sen uh, sentence completion is there sort of or sentence rearrangement then we have sentence rearrangement like a para jumble okay like para jumbles which is there sentence rearrangement is there and even error spotting was there in verbal ability okay so general topics are there let us see what the questions are let's check out a few questions for the four sentences s1 to s4 paragraph below sentences s1 and s4 are given from the options pq and r choose appropriate sentences for the following gandhi ji does not reject machinery as such s2 s3 so he says that i'll directly go in for pq and r he says that today machinery merely helps a few to ride on the back of millions and adds a q means and adds that spinning wheel is a machinery a little toothpick is a machinery and adds that that means something first has been said then only he can add something okay let's see statement r he observes how can i be against machinery when i know that even this body is the most delicate piece of machinery first sentence is gandhi ji does not reject machinery reason for it he gives that how can i be against machinery so s2 must be r okay and then on top of that he adds he is telling that body is the machinery most delicate piece of machinery on top of it he adds that spinning wheel is also machinery little toothpick is also machine so after r comes q so r q must be the correct option okay s2 and s3 must be r q which of the following sentences does not use informal language did you locate our office quite easily you will be working with different managers during your training we shall endeavor to inform you of your position in two weeks time is there anything else you want to ask does not use informal language means uses formal language so which of the following sentences uses formal language answer is option c endeavor okay complex word okay we shall endeavor to inform you generally it is endeavor can be something like try okay we can say we shall try to inform you of your position in two weeks time okay so over here endeavor uses endeavor is sort of a formal word so option c is the answer which uses formal language one part of the sentence below may contain an error identify the part if there is no error choose no error everyday life have become more complicated with the advancement in mobile technology answer is option a the word have is problematic life is singular it has to be has everyday life has become more complicated answer is option a the following three sentences can be revised into one better sentence choose the sentence that is the best revision i was at the fair i got lost i got scared i am scared after i am lost at the fair so over here am is present tense okay if you check out the sentences all of them are in the past tense was is past tense lost is past tense okay lost is past tense this is not a good revision i went to the fair and got scared as i was lost okay fine this is a, a good revision we'll check out other options i am lost the fair so i am too scared i am lost i mean what at should be there to give you the location preposition at is missing so c is ruled out i got lost at the fair and was scared this is again a good revision both of them are grammatically correct more appropriate or the answer should be option d why it uses less number of words it is more precise and concise not precise it is more concise using less number of words it is less wordy so answer is option d so b also cancelled out this is a uh, sort of a closed test let's see henry looks carefully into the telescope which lets him see far far away as far as the distant nebulae on the far edges of the milky way henry is an dash an astrologer astrologist astronomer astronaut answer is option c astronomer okay 
he is an astronomer because he looks at stars and planets astrologer means he looks at your hand and tells you what your future and this is a hand okay assume it to be a hand fine uh, so he looks at your hand your whatever kundali and all that stuff and he tells you uh, the future okay astronaut goes into the space so answer is option c astronomer okay so answer c must fill the first blank only one option with it that is option b so that must be the answer but we'll check out the second blank also his dash thing about his job is looking through the telescope favoring pleasant pleasing, pleasing favorite answer is option d favorite his favorite thing about his job is looking through the telescope favorite thing okay favorite is the adjective form okay uh, about the uh, trying to tell more about the word thing so favorite thing you cannot have favoring thing right favoring thing means he is favoring someone that means it is sort of a verb form so over here we want adjective form which talks more about the word thing so favorite is the right option anyways even if you don't get the second option first option is more than enough to give you the correct answer because only one option has first blank as c rest are d a and b fill in the blanks with the most appropriate set of words from the options given below what did the painter do dash himself from falling to save himself so to save is going to be the right option okay for saving would be the case for saving himself from falling ing ing coming twice not useful to save himself from falling when he felt the ladder dash he grabbed the gutter to save himself from falling when he felt the ladder beginning to slip so what happens is when he is going to grab the gutter when he feels that he is slipping when the process is starting of slipping so beginning to slip is the most appropriate option because it is not began slipping when he felt the ladder began slipping okay it is not in the past tense okay the moment he felt it is beginning to slip he grabbed the gutter okay in the present tense only he grabbed the gutter that is the reason beginning is going to be the right option okay the process has just started the process has started and is continuous it is continuously slipping it has started so ing is there okay and since it is like the moment it is starting and it is in the process he grabbed the gutter to save himself from flop uh, from falling this is the second clue to check why it is to save over here to save himself from falling okay so that is the reason here also it is going to come to save aisha had been very success now over here what is happening is that three sentences are given and we have to fill in the two blanks okay so this is the first blank this is the second blank Aisha has been very successful manage a uh, successfully has been had been very successful in managing her team in Edinburgh and was asked by the company to lead a remote team for an important two year project keen to demonstrate her leadership abilities to the head office Aisha got her team members together for a remote meeting but right from that first meeting she realized that this was going to be a different challenge okay so what are the three sentences blank was there no one had their cameras on so there was none of the usual communication through body language and facial expressions compared to face to face meeting the remote team is not preferred by all the managers for a start archie was late for the meeting by about 15 minutes because of the technical problems she aisha got her team members together okay but right from the first meeting she realized that this was going to be a different challenge okay so for a start must be a good start why because first sentence which is there meeting is about to start in the first meeting we are talking about so what should be the first it is going to be a different challenge because there must be some difficulties so what was the first difficulty if you check out over here for a start means it gives you the first difficulty archie was late so option c must come in place of blank number 1 only one option d has blank number 1 filled by c okay so directly mark that as answer but we are going to check out the other statement also to be sure so archie was late fine due to technical problems Lucia kept talking about really specific details while Aisha was hoping to use the meeting to get to know the team members and identify priorities. Archie and Lucia kept accidentally talking at the same time and when they didn't speak there was an uncomfortable silence. Valentina hardly said a word. Dash without these visual clues which visual clues? So there must be something that is giving visual clues, correct? no one had their cameras on camera gives you a visual clue okay so the uh, facial expressions these are the visual clues so a must come over here most appropriate option so c and a is the correct answer okay so option d is the right answer 